You know how much former President Trump rails on China? Well, do you know what he thinks is a bigger problem than China? The U.S. Federal Reserve. His words. Now, an exclusive report from the Wall Street Journal says Trump allies are drawing up plans to blunt the Federal Reserve's independence if Trump wins another term. What would that look like? Well, these allies reportedly think the president should be consulted on interest rate decisions and have the power to oust Jerome Powell before his term as Fed chair expires in May 2026. The central bank is designed to be politically independent, removed from the influence of presidents, so the monetary decisions of the country are not based on what'll win votes. Republican lawmakers are speaking out against these supposed plans. North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer said the Fed's independence is critical to making decisions in an unbiased, non-political way. North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis also said independence is important, saying, I have to think about the Fed for the next 50 years, not the next four. On the record, Trump senior advisors did not deny this report from the journal. They just said that unless a message is coming directly from Trump or an authorized member of his campaign, it should not be deemed official. It's widely understood in the legal community that the president does not have the authority to remove the head of this federal agency without cause. And cause does not mean disagreements on policy. Trump had many of those policy disagreements back when he was president and Powell served as Fed chair. I think the Fed is out of control. Just before this latest journal report came out, I asked a former Federal Reserve advisor about the possibility of presidents pressuring Powell to make certain interest rate decisions, especially given the election year. Danielle DiMartino Booth tells me Powell is one of the least political Fed chairs to serve and is not likely to be influenced by either party. Remember, he's Jerome Hayden Powell Esquire. He's a a lawyer by training, and he knows his Supreme Court precedent. He knows that prior presidents who have attempted without cause to oust the head of a federal agency, which of course he is, uh, have failed in the Supreme Court, and he will lean back on that. And that's exactly what he did when Trump was in office. I put a very good man in the Fed. I don't necessarily agree with it because he's raising interest rates. Trump was first to appoint Powell, a Republican, to Fed chair. But their relationship quickly soured as Trump's term went on and the Fed raised interest rates, causing the stock market to stumble. I think the Fed has gone crazy. Well, I personally think uh, the Fed should drop rates. I think they really slowed us down. I think they should drop rates and they should get rid of quantitative tightening. You would see a, a rocket ship. Trump loves low interest rates when he's president. Before he won the election, he was critical of the Fed for not raising rates more when Obama was in office. I think the Fed is being totally controlled politically. Uh, They're not raising rates and they're being controlled politically. But now it's Trump's advisors reportedly seeking carve outs to give Trump more political control.